Yeah, and when I called him, he said instantly. So I, it bothers me the, the Jay bashing, you know. And and I gotta be honest with you, and I, you know, and I'm I, I hate talking shit, but man, I actually don't hate talking shit. I like it. But uh, <laughs> but when the other host uh, was on 60 Minutes and had that whole big thing about you know Jay did this and Jay did that. Are you talking I, about Conan? I was just like, yeah. man, really, dude, you can't be that funny and be that. Fucking whiny at the same time. That's a good point. You know, you, you don't get to be. You know, if some shit happens, some shit happens. It wasn't like Jay was like, you know, what, I'm going to take the Tonight Show back. That's not what happened. Well, and also <laughs> the feeling, the thing is too, is take your 35 million dollars and go the fuck <laughs> home, Conan, and shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, Jesus that, Christ! Exactly. Thank There's you. A bunch you. of people Thank out of work that are watching. By the way, I will never be on the Conan Show. I, I, it's guaranteed I, that. I, you everybody good? All right. I'm, I'm going. I'm going. I wish on. Adam wasn't so fucking popular. This I'm is going on here. It's never going to hear it now. I'm going on year number ten, so uh, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Well, he did a he did a massive douchebag uh, thing to me that I, I've told uh, before, but maybe not in front of you guys. Which is, um, I did the show uh, with Dr. Drew, and then I did the show uh, Conan show alone when he was in New York. And you know, you go over all the preset stuff because uh, I didn't do it as a stand-up. I, I did it. You know, I did all my shit, and, and I, I worked it all out. And and I went out there, and I fucking burned calories. Like I never sit there and mail it in, right. especially. This is a seven, eight minute segment on, you know, NBC or whatever. I'm yeah, you got to stuff not, a lot of funny. Don't yeah, I'm not like, oh, I don't know. Hey, man, whose mug is this? Is this your mug? Can I drink out of it? I just like joke, 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 joke. Not, but, a, lot of, not a lot of Crispin Glover in you. You're not going to play Right, right. And, uh, and, and it was like, it was a little edgy. And I called some chick in the uh, audience a lesbian at some point. The audience was like, no, <laughs> and I, was show. Like, I was fucking with the audience. And, Co and Conan kind of did one of these, like, slid his chair back and went, like, <laughs> you know, like, you're on your own, you know, oh, wow. kind of thing. And uh, I was like, all right. But it, but it was funny. It was like, it was a good appearance in that it was funny, it was edgy, it agitated the audience a little, got people talking, whatever. And good energy. Uh, and then about a year and a half later, uh, Jimmy and I were there to do uh, Hefner's Roast uh, right after 9-11, actually. And me and Jimmy just walking down the street, and Jimmy's phone rang, and it was a segment producer from Conan. And like, hey, man, can you do the show? Because no one would fly to New York right. because of what happened on 9-11, and they couldn't get guests. And Jimmy's just sort of walking with me down the, down the street, and he said, uh, yeah, I'll come on the show. if uh, Me and Adam will do the show. I'll tell you what. I'll do the show. If, uh, if I can do it with Adam. Because I think, A, Jimmy was being cool to me, and B, Jimmy just felt like there's just times where you just go, look, I don't want to fucking sit there in my hotel room while the guy goes. It's really good. You know, it's good. It's that good together, good TV, right. and we work well together. Right. And by, and who wants to do that pre-interview where there's a pause, and I goes, what else you got, Jimmy? <laughs> what else you got? <laughs> you guys look at Jimmy. I got Jimmy. Right, I got Adam. <laughs> so uh, the guy says to him, we don't do teams. We don't do pairs. <laughs> and I thought, well, that's interesting because I did it with Dr. Drew two years earlier. So evidently you do do pairs, just you don't do Adam Carolla. And that was it. I got I got banned from the show like I, I uh, just, 10 I years ago. I had the same ago. experience. I had, I had that producer. So it's weird because you go in and they're, they're really intense. Cause they, it's their, you know, it's your life too because you know, you they're doing it every day. You're getting, you get one spot every couple years maybe, you know, right. and depending on how famous you are or whatever. So I get my shot and, I, and Titus is on the air at the time and I get to go on Conan. It's the only time I did it and I was excited. And I always know that the, the show's kind of hip and cool, and I, I had just flown with the Blue Angels. Wow. And I had flown with the Blue Angels, and I had vomited in the airplane. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and I had, and the thing is, here's what, here's what the dicky thing about the Blue Angels. They have a camera on the seat in front of you, so they're filming you. Every horrible, horrible thing that happens, they film you. And the guys, right. and they go out of their way. And these oh, guys, yeah. They, they're, they're shiny, but the guy smiles no, clean. Is no, if they don't make you vomit, they must get razzed when they get yeah, back yeah, to the yeah, locker yeah. room, right? Exactly. Yeah, and then you got to get naked, get in the car and drive. Yes, that's because that's right. they're real men. All right, so. hold on. What, what else you got, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> You got news coming up. <laughs> you got nothing. But it keeps working. What else? So, so we're in the plane. The guy makes me throw up. And they have these little bags that you, that you throw up. And, so I, I, and, I, and, I, and I throw up into the bag. And I had video of it. They gave me my video. And right. so I, I brought that to Conan. And I'd given it to the video guy. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell the story. And they go, no, we're going to do your act. And I'm like, you know, I'm on a TV show right now. I, I, go, I go, my act, I haven't worked on any new stuff for a while. Let me, I, go, I, I, I go, trust me, I'm funny. You're funny. I'm funny. We're right. funny. And, and I go, I'm going to tell this story and this story, and then I'll do the video. And the guy goes, okay, if we get to it, if we get to it. Get so the guy was so hard. I mean, Conan was cool to me, but the guy, the segment was such a 
I mean, it's just one of those guys that say this. I want you to say this. You're going to talk about your, you're going to talk about your dad, then you're going to do this bit, that bit, that bit. And I was right. so known for that. I did. I wanted to, you know. Sure. So I do some of the bits, and I do a bit. And Conan goes, um, "All right, man, great having you." And I go, "I go, but let me tell you this story about about the about flying with the Blue Angels." And he goes, "And Conan, you see a Conan get that look like fuck." All right. Yeah. He like he didn't know how to go. No, we'll get to that next time. You have it next time. Right. Jay would just do, you know, next time you come on, we'll do that thing. Right. And you'd have been like, and it would be cool. And so I go, I go, let's go to the tape, and I start telling the story, and the audience claps, it, get, it kills. I get done, I, I get done, and Conan goes, great, had a nice having you on. And literally just, just through the commercial, and on, when, when, when we went away, he just got up and walked away, and I heard about six months later that I will never be doing the Conan O'Brien show Well, again. Then, then you've come to the right place. Yes, my yes, yes. And, uh, uh, yes. Conversely, <laughs> conversely. I, I was told that. Conversely, <laughs> why, Conan? Conversely, when I did a late night show, Steve O came on and he put his foot through my glass coffee table and then it choked, it attempted to choke me. He was on two weeks later. Yeah, there so you we go. Guys, we had Steve right. O back on this show. All right, Allison, do you have a little more?